Okay guys, it's Wednesday night and and I'm tired as hell man. Anyway, I do a 12 hour shift on Wednesday, so guys. I got home and my mouse is here. I'm not really doing a regular unboxing. What I really want to do is just to kind of like show you guys how to really operate this fancy looking mouse here. And there isn't really much about it that makes it that special. The thing about it is it's gonna have some buttons here. If you notice right now it's got an orange light by the way because it's charging. It came out of the box, the battery is dead, you have to get it charged first. So when you plug it into the USB port with the cord that they give you, it's gonna be an orange. And this is the color you're gonna see when it's charging, all right? When it's solid white, that means it's fully charged. And when it's in Bluetooth mode, that white light will actually flash on and off to tell you it's ready for pairing, all right? So right now I have it charging here and as soon as I get enough power into it, I'll be able to turn it on and just kind of like experience what it is. Now, and if you notice, yep, 11.30, so you know I'm up late, guys. Now, what I really want you guys to know, and I'm gonna keep it short, the USB dongle is stored inside the body of it. And this thing's kind of tricky. When you get it out of the box, it's gonna be like this. It's gonna look like this. It comes like that in the packaging. So it's gonna be upright like this in mouse mode. All right, remember it's like a dual device. When you open it like this, the USB dongle is gonna be inside of it. Now, you might get tempted to turn it. See this right here? You flip it around like this, playing with it. And then before you know, you can't remember what side the USB dongle is in, all right? So always remember this, guys. The side that says yoga is where the USB dongle is. You might get tempted to start pulling on the Lenovo side. This is not where the USB dongle is and this part was not designed for it to come off, all right? So just in case you're pulling and you can't remember, you might end up breaking it. Always remember, the compartment area is the section that says yoga. As long as you remember that, you're good to go, all right? And all you have to do is take your finger, squeeze, pull, and it's off. Take that out, plug it into the USB port, and you're in. If not, you can always switch it to Bluetooth mode, which is the switch on the back of it here, because you're gonna have your micro USB connector, power cord, and then the switch to choose which mode you wanna put it in. You can put it in Bluetooth if you want, that way you can pair it via Bluetooth, but then I got the Active Pen too. This is already doing Bluetooth. I don't wanna have any conflicts at the same time, because I'm gonna have to shut one off to use the other one, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna leave it on the dongle, that way I can use the USB itself. Just plug that into the port there and then I can use both of them. I can have the mouse running, then I can stop and probably write something at the same time. See what I'm saying? So it's better that way for me, even though I have the option to do that if I want. And as I said, this part right here will actually light up when it's charged and you turn it on. That way you will have your play button, your fast forward, your rewind button, and your volume button is here. And then there's another section of it where you can actually use it for like presentation and stuff. So all of that section is gonna be underneath this material here. Even though right now it looks like a piece of plain plastic, it will light up and display the different features that it can actually provide when you turn it on. So right now, guys, I'm charging it. It's still on orange, so you know it's in charging mode. It won't turn on it until it's fully charged. So let me put the cover back on real quick. Let's clip it on right there and bam, and it's on. And until the battery is fully charged and I get that solid white, I won't be able to really do much with it. But it's very simple, guys. It's very light. And this thing is, it just feels completely different. It kind of reminds me of the Note 8. My hand, that's how the Note 8 feels. Like a nice piece of crystal, but then this is plastic, so it's not as heavy, it's lighter. But that sleek feel that it's got, it feels very nice inside the hand. So it's very unusual for something that's supposed to be a mouse. And then when you flip it around, by the way, and something else I want you to remember, guys. When you're gonna flip it around for mouse mode, it's always gonna be clockwise to become the mouse. And once you do it like this, when you wanna undo it, guys, you have to go all it in front of you and go anti-clockwise to bring it back into this remote control side um, look right here, all right? So remember, when it's like this, you wanna turn it into a mouse, hold it up at you like this. You're gonna orange light, see this right here? Make sure that part is facing you. And in fact, let me do it to the camera that way. You're gonna look at this section right here. It's gonna be facing you. 
you're going to have it like this, turn it down, and you're going to go clockwise to turn it into a mouse, all right? So once you do it clockwise, it's going to be in mouse mode. All right, now to undo it, do not grab it and think you can continue turning and then get it back into the remote mode. You won't be able to go that way anymore. You're going to have to undo it now, so you're going to go anti-clockwise instead because the hinge is not going to allow you to go full 360, all right? You might make a 180, but that's it. From here to here, 180, bam, you're done. But you can't continue to spin it. You will break the device, all right? So always remember, once it's in mouse mode, you have to undo it by going the opposite way, all right? So if you notice, I made sure I, I aimed it to the camera so that you guys don't get it wrong, all right? So beyond that, everything's fine. All you have to remember, hold it in front of you. Always look at the section where the light is. Hold it up to you. And once again, clockwise, mouse mode to undo anti-clockwise and you're good to go and remember the compartment for the USB dongle is under the yoga sign never try to drag on the Lenovo logo all right look for the yoga sign this is where it is squeeze pull and bam it's down you get in you take it off you do whatever you need to do and when you're ready just fit it back right here slide it back in and clip and you are done all right guys so it's very simple so if you own one or you are planning to get one, it's a very nice mouse to have. It matches the color so nice right here. So now I feel like I have a complete set. So, okay guys, after waiting like maybe two hours, if you notice on my clock, I am at you know, 12.56 now. So you know, I waited almost two hours to really get this thing fully charged. So now if you notice right here, it's got a white light this time, meaning it is fully charged. So now we're gonna turn it on. Let me unplug it first. Unplug it off the USB port and take the cable off. And remember once again, guys, never drag on the Lenovo logo, all right? Turn it over to the yoga side. Take, push it down, open. So now we're gonna take the USB dongle right here. I'm gonna take that out. Let me slide it out real good. There we go. Just grab from the end and just slide it off this edge right here, off that slope. And once you do that, just take the cover, put it back on, and slide it back into place. And you are done. Take this. Plug it into the USB port over here. Let me slide that in real quick. There we go. So now that thing is plugged in. And we're gonna turn it on, guys. So now the power switch right here, make sure the setting, by the way, is set to that dongle. On the picture right here on the back of it, you're gonna see an image of it. Hold it up closer. There will be a picture of it. One is of the Bluetooth icon, the other one is of that dongle, all right? So I'm gonna be using the dongle so that, that way I can access my Active Pen 2 and use the mouse at the same time without having conflicts with the Bluetooth, You're trying to manage both of them at the same time. So now I'm gonna turn it on and let me do that here. Press the power button for like three seconds. Orange light comes on. And then it goes off. And now I'm gonna flip it into mouse mode. So once again, hold it to you, just like I said before, and turn clockwise. So now it's in mouse mode. All right, see that right there? So now what I'm gonna do is, let's see if I can get it to work here. I need to get a nice flat surface for it. Let me turn that on. There we go. There we go, and it is working. So guys, I just tested it on my hands, by the way. I think this book is probably kind of too shallow. Oh, there we go. The book is fine. So now guys, I'm using it on my screen here and let me show you my screen guys so you can actually see what's going on. 
I'm gonna set it up so you can see that the mouse is moving and let me do this real quick. Let me set that up right here and pick the camera up and show it to you guys the easy way. If you notice right here, this is my mouse and you can clearly see on my screen, see that right there guys? I could have flipped it the other way, but I have you just see the real screen itself, but it's late, man, I can't wait that long. So there you go, I'm making circles right there so you see the mouse is clearly working properly. So it's very simple, guys. The dongle is right there, and you can see the mouse moving around on my screen, and it's working very well. Now, what I wanna show you, let me put this back right here. We're gonna look at the media side of it now which is the opposite side here where you can do the media stuff and the presentation stuff. So now once again, remember you look at it, in order to get out of mouse mode, you have to do anti-clockwise. So it's in mouse mode now like this, you look at it like this. What you're gonna be doing now guys is turn it anti-clockwise back into a remote control and immediately after doing that guys, look what happens here. See that? How it lights up. All that media stuff is showing onto it and there we go I'm into the media mode right there and I can click on this right here I got my volume control and my play and pause controls right here see that guys very nice and it's now showing up underneath the arm um, under the material itself and let me see right here what happens when I tap the top of it there we go now it's in the presentation mode see that right there so that's how easy you get it to switch to presentation mode, guys remember the middle button right here all you have to do is tap right here and it will switch for you all right so if you right now if you notice it's in presentation mode and I tap it and it goes right back to media mode all right see right there now you got your play button your volume and everything back all you have to do is the center button again, just click it once, click, and it will switch back to presentation mode. All right, all right, guys. So it's very simple, very lovely mouse to really own. And as I said, guys, I'm gonna have some fun with it. Most of the time when I'm using this, I'm gonna be using it for gaming because I wanna play games on this. The touchpad is gonna be kind of difficult, so I bought this specifically for me to be able to play Fortnite, all right? So most of the time when I'm using it, that's when you're gonna be seeing this stuff. Plus I might just lie in bed sometimes and just have fun with the remote control. Maybe get to skip to some music or maybe if I'm watching a video, I don't have to touch it anymore. I can just use the remote side of this, which is the media side. So it should be a lot of fun, guys. All right, so I hope you guys really and truly enjoy that. And let me flip it back into mouse mode. Once again, look at it right here and you turn clockwise. Bam, it's now back into mouse mode and it will light up in white to show you that it's in mouse mode. Then I can just put it down and I can do whatever I want with it like a regular mouse, all right, guys? And don't forget, you can turn it off when you're done. You have to turn it off. It's rechargeable. And if you leave it on, the battery will die, all right? So what you're going to do now is when you're done with it, all you have to do is hold down the power button for like three to five seconds, and then it will just turn off and your battery won't drain as fast versus leaving it on. All right, guys? So... I'm gonna end it right here, man, because you, you see the time right here, it is three minutes after one. But I'm dedicated to you guys, and I decided I'm gonna stay up all night till this thing is charged so I can do this video properly for you because you guys show me a lot of support on the last video when I did the active pen setup. So I decided I'm gonna treat you guys again and show you how to do the mouse as well. So now this is like a full Lenovo set, the active pen 2, the Lenovo yoga mouse, and I have the Lenovo laptop right yoga laptop right here all right so this is all going to end it guys the usual way man peace and salute from west palm beach and i am out of here see you guys tomorrow man i'm going to be off from work so we're going to have a great show all right thanks once again for watching my channel and peace